Hey guys, welcome to a new game called Passerby. Um, I don't really remember what this one's about, which is pretty much the case for most of the games I play, as I try not to go and see anything that's going on or read too much about the description. I just want to go in there, you know, blind, so I can actually enjoy the game instead of being spoiled, you know. Anyway, let's check it out. My name is Nathan. I'm a loner, wandering through a desolate and shattered world. Okay. For me, it was always a dark, unforgiving wasteland. The difference is that now it's overrun by infected monsters. Okay. Uh, nobody knows exactly what happened. After the fallout, was it like fallout? You know, obviously fallout, but fallout like, you know, the game. Uh, people started forming factions, different groups to survive. I always felt like an outsider, and now I became a passerby. I know that my fate hangs in a balance and that it could be severed at any moment by the horrors that lock, lurk in the darkness. All right, this sounds like that one game. Um, oh, what it was that I played it a while ago. I don't know if it was on here or Twitch. It was a long time. Basically, you had like seven days, seven days to survive. Was that it? Anyway, so it sounds like that and it mixed with Fallout. All right. Uh, sprint, interact. Yet another deserted town. Hope I can find something useful around here. This is fascinating. Find shelter. I like loot the cars. I don't see a prompt. Wood. Um, grocery store. That might be a good place to hide out. There are the big windows. What's this? There is filled the stench of decay. People are more aggressive than infected creatures. Well, yeah, resources are sparse. So you're getting hunted all the time by creatures. It kind of makes you a little grumpy. Uh, there's nothing left of this town besides crumbling buildings and trash. I try to care about this situation, but why bother? That's yeah, pretty much what everybody else thinks, too. I bet. Every day I get closer and closer to ending it all. Well, let's not do that. Maybe one day I can find the courage to do so. No, 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 it's not. No. Okay. Ooh. Bending machine. Okay. Okay, not opening that. So, okay, it's not shelter. This is the grocery store i think down here oh the police station that would be a good place to hide out they're usually pretty secure right where's the front door or a door no okay i guess we're not going in here by the garage door okay What's this one? Jack's guess. No exit. You're kidding. The keys on the shelf open the locked door of the building by the road. Stay inside, wait for night to pass, and do whatever you want. Do not go outside at night. If you are reading this, this that means I'm already gone, but you still have a chance to survive. Good luck to all. All right, thank you. Nice of him to leave the keys easily accessible. Where am I going? I thought I said there's like a shit. What is it? Let me look at that again. He's gonna show up, open the locked door of the building by the road. Which road? Oh, is it the police station road, maybe? Or one of these? Flowers. Huh. What road? I think there's two roads. What's with all the signs? So, you guys think this might be a dangerous area? Or is that just me getting... This idea. It's 
So you're telling me not to pee on this. Alright. Is that a radioactive or a biohazard symbol? It's radioactive. Hopefully it's okay to breathe, whatever that is. Uh, locked building along the road. Of course, I'm walking through the middle of fields. So that's very helpful, all right? Is this it? This is a nice fence. All the way down there. Ah, here we go. Hole in the wall. Is this it? Does look kind of secure. Nice computer. What's behind there? Oh. Okay. Nice TV. Watch, you know, static. On every night. Oh, there's a. Looks cozy. I could look for supplies. I usually find stuff in the trash. Alright. Oh, well, probably now I can pick up those boards because they look like they could be picked up. And nothing was happening. Search the trash bins. All right, so I saw one somewhere. Walk right over the cars. Yes. I don't go around things. I walk over things. Okay, not that. Oh, this is, it's like a loading bar. I found rubber tubing, empty food containers, and nothing useful. Well, the rubber tubing could be good. I could probably suck some gas out of these cars. Probably turned to goo by now, but you know. Torn clothing, scraps, and dented cooking pots. Can be used, I guess. Yeah, make bandages out of the cloth, you know, boil some water. This trash? No. Come on, I'm still searching. Like it's a weird mechanic where you gotta keep moving around like you're actually searching it. Wood scraps, I guess this town was empty before the fallout. Yeah, well, probably. I'm tired, it's getting dark. I should go back to the shelter and sleep in bed. All right. I can close the front door, right? That is a thing, right? Who's back here? And better question. Why is the guy dead? How did he die? Is it because his shelter sucked? It just occurred to me. It says, if you're finding this, it means I'm dead. Did you die because your shelter... didn't work right? I'd probably push one of these beds right into here and wedge it, standing up. Oh yeah, sleep right there, facing the stairwell. I would sleep great. Is this housekeeping? Someone is at the door. Who could it be at this time? I should be careful. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what's this? You hear knocking. Don't open the door. <laughs> Amidst all the struggles, I refuse to give up my dream. One day I will stop hiding, scavenging for scraps, rationing the supplies, and I'll move away from this cursed town. 
Open up a restaurant and at the end of the world. All right, we're going to serve people. Uh, where, where people <laughs> rejoice. Okay. Uh, have fun. Remember that not everything is lost one day. Okay. Well, it's about to be one day now because I'm going to open the door and I'm going to get eaten or something. Probably. Looks like someone is hurt. I should be careful following this blood trail. How about you don't? Yeah, close my door. I mean, really, is it really your problem? You said it yourself. People are out for themselves, basically. This is how you die. Please help. I was with the group and got lost. I had a walkie-talkie with me and dropped it near the police station. Please find it. Yeah. I'm going to find it. Your crew is going to come steal all my stuff and then kill me. Can't turn off my flashlight, so I'm guessing the light doesn't bother them. Where's the police station? Over there. I think we're doing all right. I just, I'm assuming I, their line of sight is very narrow. I hope. This is probably not good. faster than these things oh I got it am I being chased no okay please don't be around the corner Okay, I think we're good. Oh, here, you can call your people to come kill me and take my stuff. Here you go. Thanks for helping me and dragging me out of here. It's very cozy and safe. Yeah, no problem. Um, I hope you did not get infected. Looks like you lost a lot of blood. No, no, this is not mine. I knew it. I actually met someone on the way here, and they were pretty aggressive. Yeah, you're the aggressive one, aren't you? You know, we have to survive no matter what, and we got into a fight. They lost. Meanwhile, it got dark. Like I said, I'm with a group of people. We share a certain ide ideology around here. Yeah, human tasty. Wait, wait. Why were they aggressive, and what happened to them? We ate them. We had a disagreement about my offer. I did I did rush some things because it was getting dark and I proposed them to join my group and they refused, saying I was insane or some shit. Maybe they did not want to be part of the group and they were passerby, like me, but what exactly did you tell them? People around here do not get aggressive for no solid reason. Personally, I find it hilarious, but my group likes to hunt. We gather some supplies and mostly survive on meat. Meat? Where do you get meat at this time? We all know that infected are spreading more and more. There is polluted and there's no way. Wait, do you hunt infected monsters and eat them? No way. Yeah. I, I know I'm writing this. Uh, you, you think we are savages? Not at all. <laughs> yeah, savages. Uh, we hunt for fresh meat every single day. 
I thought you'd be smarter than this. Come on, we are candles. Listen, relax, okay? We already got our share for today, and I guess you are the lucky one. Get the out. I have a gun in my bag, and I will swear I will shoot you. Whoa, whoa, relax. I'm not going to hurt you. If you want, you can join my group. If not, I can leave. I will not join your mind group. Get the hell out. I'm warning you. All right, all right, I'm going. Sorry if I made things uncomfortable, all right? I'll just stand up and leave. But I have to say, yeah, I would stand up too. Don't let someone do this to you. I would, but I have to say that my group is already here, and I wish we had more time to discuss this. I knew it. I just knew it. Okay. You When they say, we're candles, you pull the gun out, and you just shoot them, and you walk away. Anyway, that was Passerby. Um, it was pretty good. I mean, I wasn't sure about the zombie things, if they were actually, you know, would attack me. I was too afraid to find out, because, you know, I don't know if there's a checkpoint system, <laughs> but uh, it was great. I liked it. Uh, check it out in the description. Leave me know what you think in the comments. Hey, I got it right. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you.